All right, so what are you going to do? Okay, so usually the superior pole of the Tamati tonsil is where we um, uh, most abscesses are able to drain from, but up to 40%, um, you know, you, you stick the needle in or the, or the uh, scapel and there's no drainage. So they actually recommend going in the middle pole. And if that doesn't work, then the, the inferior of the pole. Palantine tonsil. Of the Palantine tonsil. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to be going for the superior pole of the Palantine tonsil. All right, so this lady actually, was her uvula deviated? It was. Yeah. And to so the, it's, a right, right. it's a right-sided right abscess. Or to the left, sorry, to her left. To her left, but yeah. it's a right, the right side of her pharynx is right. uh, swollen up and infected. And she has this uh, hot potato voice, right? Yes. Very right. much so. So your voice, your voice, is this your typical voice? No. Okay. And when did you start getting a sore throat? I'm sorry, what time? Two in the morning. Two in the morning? Tuesday, Tuesday. Sorry, sorry. Tuesday morning, okay. All right. So, looks like a loculated abscess right there. I'm going up. And then down, you see that little mm -hmm. uh, area right there, you, right, right there. So we're talking about this here. Yeah, yeah. Where's your carotid? Carotid's deeper. Let's see if I can go. We'll go long axis. See if I can find it. Right there, maybe. Let's put some color on that. That's the carotid right there. See, this is five centimeters deep, okay. right here. Okay. So she's pretty deep. Collections up there. Okay. All right. Got our equipment. We got our one percent lidocaine with epinephrine, twenty-five gauge needle, inch and a half. We got the hurricane spray. So I'm gonna spray with this. I'm gonna inject with this for to numb you up, and then we're gonna go in with this needle, which is bigger. I got it cut a centimeter and a half from the tip of the needle, and that way it kind of stops me. I don't go too deep for the carotid. And I'm going to aspirate. I got a laryngoscope blade. It gives me a pretty good um, uh, light and uh, control of the tongue. And we got our suction set up. Set up for me. All right, set so lay back. Perfect. Put your head back. There you go. Alright, so you see this, I don't know if you can see the swelling right here. Location, it's blanching. And I want you to control the suction, alright? Suck all that stuff up. There you go. Alright, ready? Open your mouth. Open wide. There you go, I'm pulling pus back, you see that? Open wide. Okay. All right, use that, use that suction in back there. Let's see what you got. Got about four and a half cc's of purulent. Wow, good job. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I think we should put her in OBS for uh, I do. 24 hours. Um, let me, let me, you want to take another look? See where it's bleeding from? It's pretty good. And, and, and give, give me control of this. So we drain from right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that okay. was the superior pole of the... Um, there you go. Superior part oh, of the periconstrophosa. Fossa. Yeah. So uh, let's hear your speech. Let's see if you're you're speaking a little bit better. Count to ten. One, two, three. Yeah, that still sounds like a hot potato voice, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But but. Do you feel better or not? I mean, I feel a lot better than I was before I came in. <laughs> okay. Some of that was because of IV fluids, IV morphine, yeah. IV tordol, IV decadron. <laughs> right. I got a lot of I IV gave her, I gave her decadron too.